Noah Nate and his four siblings live in the heart of Krobodumase in the eastern region. They lost their biological parents and their grandmother, who took responsibility for their welfare, also passed on eight years later. Being the first of five children, Nate assumed the responsibility of a mother. With proceeds from a menial job during market days, Nate took on the family business of Kenke selling. Members of the extended family sometimes complement his efforts. As a result, he could not realize his dream of education, as he dedicated all his time to the business in order to raise funds for his siblings' welfare. Nate recounts the healthy relationship they shared with their mother. Our mother thinks about us. She loves us and we also love her. She does virtually everything for us, including ensuring that we are fed three square meals a day. She washes our clothes and ensures that we look clean. We really miss her. As the world marks Mother's Day, Nate and his siblings do not want to be left out, even though their mother is no more. Mother's Day, Neji Wahem Hogbano. I feel uneasy on Mother's Days because my mother is not alive, so I could wish her or sing for her so she will feel relieved. This makes me weep a lot on Mother's Day. My mother's death leaves me with sorrow and grief. Their mother was buried in the precinct of the family house. With flowers they picked from the neighborhood, the siblings approached the grave to express the appreciation. For these children, having a mother figure in their life could bring immense comfort and solace while guaranteeing their security and stability. Stanley Nibleu, TV3 News, Krobodumase, Eastern Region.